Hey guys, today we're going to check it out the cat the imam moved to make. Guys, if you're new yet, please sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Islamic and Christian content because I kind of base on religion. So if you want to see religion content, reactions, just stick here. Guys, let's get straight into this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, a few days ago, there was an imam from Algeria who was fulfilling the evening prayer known as Taraweeh and a cat happened to jump on him and it actually spent a bit of time there. The beauty of all of that was he did not panic and he did not cut his recitation. He didn't even pause or stop or jerk. And subhanAllah, he maintained his concentration as he was prior to the jumping of the cat. That was something amazing, mashallah. May Allah bless the Imam and grant him goodness. What I want to say is this video went viral and rightly so, mashallah, mashallah. And many people got to see a side of bearded people, or should I say practicing Muslims with animals. I want to seize this opportunity to say the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him has told us that people have entered paradise because of their good treatment of dogs and cats and people have entered hellfire because of their bad treatment of cats. There is a narration which means these animals and the Prophet peace be upon him says Fi kulli kabidin ratbatin ajrun. Every creature that has a liver Every creature that has life, subhanAllah, we need to be good to it and we will get a reward for being kind and good. Not only that, Islam extends to your ecosystem, your environment, the trees that you have. You don't just chop them down in a destructive manner, but we are encouraged very strongly to plant trees. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says whoever plants a tree, will continue to get a reward for as long as that tree is standing, even beyond that person's death, for as long as it is providing some form of benefit in terms of shade, in terms of fruit or whatever else it may be for the people or the birds and the animals and so on. So this is Islam. I'm so happy that this video went viral because many people think as Muslims, we're not supposed to be kind to animals and so on, including dogs and pigs, subhanAllah. I've mentioned quite a few times in the past that the fact that something is prohibited to consume, such as a pig or pork, does not make it permissible for us to be nasty to those animals. Those animals are still animals created by Allah Almighty. Be kind and the Almighty will be kind, not just to you in this world, but even in the hereafter. So if people can earn paradise, through being kind to animals, imagine what they would earn by being kind towards fellow human beings. Subhanallah. May Allah Almighty make us from those who happen to be very kind. This is the month of kindness and generosity, the month of Ramadan, and this is the message I have for you tonight. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Guys, if there's one thing I've noticed about Muslim videos that it's really engaging and when you're seeing it like time flies i can tell you it's it's really engaging guys like it's really really engaging but like how can you keep you cool when you can't jump i don't really have problem with cats or dog like i love dogs but like if it jumps on my butt like see you, you have to have a level of discipline and focus for you to be able to withstand that and i can tell you the imam have it go for a cat to jump in your body and you you didn't even feel it you didn't really like try to really like it's good it's good it's good but guys don't really think about this guy just like subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time guys please